Just hours away from learning more about the federal review of an entire Twin Cities Police Department. It follows a controversial shooting of Philando Castile. St. Anthony Police Officer Geronimo Yanez killed the 32-year-old driver after pulling over his car in Falcon Heights this summer. Castile's girlfriend live-streamed the aftermath on Facebook. WCCO's Kate Raditz is here with what that review will consider and the new call to throw up the charges against the officer. Kate? Well, Kim, the Justice Department will look at what happened in the seconds leading up to the shooting. Its review could also address bigger issues of possible bias and accountability in the St. Anthony Police Department. This investigation comes as Officer Yanez's attorney says the charges against him should be dropped. The St. Anthony police officer who shot and killed Philando Castile during a traffic stop in July was charged with manslaughter and two felony counts of dangerous discharge of a firearm. Lawyers for Officer Geronimo Yanez filed court documents on Wednesday requesting those charges be dismissed. In the documents, they argue Castile was high on marijuana during the stop and shouldn't have been carrying a gun, even with his permit, because he was impaired. The attorneys referenced a toxicology report that they say showed high levels of THC in Castile's blood. They also said a sealed video from the squad car confirms Castile ignored commands and that Officer Yanez acted in self-defense. The most recent review of the shooting is being done by community-oriented policing services out of Washington, D.C., within the DOJ. The city of St. Anthony originally requested a review back in October in an effort to build trust between residents and police. Arrest data WCCO analyzed in the days after Castile's death showed St. Anthony police disproportionately arrested African Americans. Yanez's attorneys also said Castillo claimed he didn't use any unlawful substances on his application to carry a gun. The U.S. attorney from Minnesota will release details about the Justice Department's plan to review the police department at 2 o'clock. Kate, has Castillo's family responded to Yanez's version of what happened and these accusations about the drugs? Well, the family's attorney said the charges filed by the Ramsey County attorney speak for themselves. Last month, he called the shooting unjustifiable and said Castile died, saying he did not reach for his gun. Okay, Kate Raditz, thank you.